Ever wondered how your smartphone holds a charge or how your television keeps its memory even when unplugged? That's the magic of capacitors at work. These tiny yet mighty components are the unsung heroes of the electronic world. They're in everything, from the laptop you're using to watch this video, to the fridge keeping your food fresh. They store and release electrical energy, making our devices function smoothly. Without capacitors, most of our modern conveniences wouldn't be possible. The journey of the capacitor begins in the 18th century with a German scientist named Ewald Georg von Kleist. This pioneer of electricity was the first to discover a method to store electric charge, a concept that was nothing short of revolutionary at the time. In 1745, Kleist made a discovery that would forever change the world of electronics. He found that electricity could be stored within a glass jar, which he named the Kleistian jar. This jar, filled with water and sealed with a cork, had a wire running through the cork and into the water. When the wire was electrified, the water inside the jar would store the electricity. This was the first ever capacitor. As time went by, the Kleistian jar was perfected and later became known as the Leyden jar, named after the University of Leyden, where further advancements were made. This invention marked the birth of the capacitor, the cornerstone of modern electronics. From the Leyden jar to the tiny capacitors in our electronic devices, the journey of capacitors has been remarkable. In the mid 18th century, the Leyden jar, a primitive form of capacitor, was invented. It was a simple device consisting of a glass jar filled with water and lined with metal foil. Despite its simplicity, it was the first device capable of storing an electric charge, marking the dawn of a new era in electrical technology. As we moved into the 19th century, the Leyden jar gave way to paper capacitors. These were made by sandwiching insulating paper between two metal plates, a design that was far more efficient and reliable. Paper capacitors held the fort for quite some time, until the tantalum and ceramic capacitors of the 20th century came into existence. Tantalum capacitors, introduced in the early 20th century, were smaller and significantly more efficient than their predecessors. They were followed by ceramic capacitors, whose compact size and high reliability made them ideal for use in a wide range of applications, from radios to computers. Throughout these centuries, the trend in capacitor development has been towards miniaturization and increased efficiency. Today, capacitors are so small, they can fit on the tip of a needle, yet they are integral to the functioning of virtually every electronic device we use. The evolution of capacitors has been a story of innovation and progress, mirroring the advancement of technology itself. But what exactly is a capacitor and how does it work? Well, think of a capacitor as a tiny storage unit for electrical energy. It works on a simple principle. It stores energy in an electric field created between two conductive plates. These plates are separated by a non-conductive material, or an insulator, which prevents the charges from flowing directly from one plate to the other. When a voltage, or an electric potential difference, is applied across these plates, positive charges build up on one plate, while negative charges accumulate on the other. This separation of charges creates an electric field and stores energy. Now, when the capacitor is connected to a circuit, it releases this stored energy. It does this by allowing the charges to flow from one plate to the other through the circuit, powering whatever device it's connected to, be it your phone, television, or even a spaceship. Understanding the workings of a capacitor can help us appreciate the magic behind our everyday electronics. Today, capacitors are everywhere, silently powering our modern world. In the vast expanse of our evolving digital landscapes, these tiny powerhouses have carved a significant role. Imagine a world where power conditioning is key Capacitors are the unsung heroes, ensuring a stable and reliable power supply to our devices by smoothing out fluctuating voltages. In the realm of signal processing, capacitors are the gatekeepers, allowing certain frequencies to pass while blocking others. This is crucial in systems like radios, where they help filter out noise and interference. Energy storage is another vital application. Think about flash photography. The quick burst of light? That's a capacitor discharging stored energy in an instant. Then there's voltage regulation. In your everyday electronic devices, capacitors maintain a steady voltage, protecting sensitive components from potentially damaging surges. So the next time you charge your phone or switch on your TV, remember the humble capacitor, quietly making it all possible.